Hey guys, dad has done zero, zero videoing today. This is the first video I'm doing. I'm sitting on the couch. I have been between the couch and the kitchen and the dining room and the living room doing all sorts of work today, studying, sending out messages, making phone calls, doing a whole heck of a lot. So I'm sorry I haven't videoed. I, I just don't know what's interesting to you guys. And I don't think you guys just wanna see, their, see me sitting there watching whatever. Maybe I could get better at like taking videos and making phone calls, but the, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, Jiu-Jitsu is in about an hour. I don't think I should be going. I mean, it's a long, long wait time. Six to 11 to go to Jiu-Jitsu. That's just a lot of missed opportunity and work. So I'm gonna go talk to your mom right now, see if she can help me get into the gym. If not, I'm gonna have to figure out some sort of workout because I'm not, not gonna exercise. But I just wanted to give you an update, see what was going on. This person, cool, she's got a new client on board, so that's great. I've gotta make the system a little bit better, faster, and then I gotta figure out how ads work because I'm really bad at ads. I'll get there eventually, we will make it work. Yeah, that's all we got for you right now. So I hope you're having a great day. You guys are off in Franca, eating some food, having some fun. You should be home soon. Whew, I smell. Anyway, see you guys later. Ciao. So here's the tricky part about Brazil, boys. I'll just tell you this straight up front. It's not, really the easiest to like get things done or situated. I mean, I take that back. Basically where we are, it's difficult. So the reason I say that is that Jiu Jitsu is in two separate areas, meaning there's one in a town called Franca and there's one in a town where we're in, Hibaron Clodange. The difficulty with that is that Tuesdays and Thursdays is Hibaron Clodange and Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday is Franca. Now, what's the problem? Why can't I just get a ride there? Well, I can, except in order for me to go to Franca, I have to leave at six o'clock, which is right now, and then I have to get home at like 11.30 because the way that driving and people and, and, and just, there's a lot of things that go into it. So I'm not willing to spend five hours, of which three to three and a half of those hours is going to be sitting in a car. Right, unable to do anything because it's just not possible. So, <clears throat> and then on top of that, I could just go to the gym, except in order to go to the gym here, it's not like you just walk in and pay. You have to apply to be allowed in. And then when you are allowed in, you're only allowed to go three-ish days. So a lot of complaining is what you're hearing from me, basically. Long story short, we're back with the rubber band and this area. So that's my workout space. We're gonna get another 45 minutes in, something like that, so it will be decent, but it's not what I want. I wanna get stronger. And it's hard to do that when you don't have a set regimen. Ultimately, at the end of the day, what I need to do is get a personal trainer who will coach me and tell me how to get stronger. Because even though I have a degree in exercise science, it doesn't really help me because I don't, I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. But anyway, we're gonna do some one-arm push-ups with a band. We're gonna do some squats. We're gonna do some hip thrusts. We're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. Check it out. Check out the thing. I'm gonna go throw a shirt on too. But yeah. Round one, done. Two more to go. And then another cycle of whatever. Whew. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm stalling. I'm on my minute break here. Give yourself a break. Don't hammer yourself so much to the point where you can't move. Long-term intensity over time. Okie dokie. So this band is soaked. Clearly I didn't get a new shirt or a shirt, but what I wanted to do, oh yeah, that's the final timer, okay. Don, great workout. You spent 33 minutes, 15 seconds exercising. Oh, usually it gives me a better breakdown than that. But anyway, um, I just wanna walk you through what I did so that you guys could do it if you wanted to. So without further ado. So exercise number one was this left and right. So being a push up, something up there. It's tied to something up there. Keep it in tight, down. Use that other arm to help push you up. That was that. Switch to the other arm, do the other side. That was one, then two. And then the third exercise was, uh, you wrap the rubber band around a pole and then you hold and then you let one go. When you pull the other one in, you let the other one go. Keep the other one and go. And then after you're done with that one, keep the band right where it is and come and do presses just like that. So that would be one, two, three, four exercises. After that, we go ahead and go to the infamous kettlebell swings, but with a band. 
kettlebell bands or kettle bands, whatever. When you're here, stretch and blow through. Wonder if there's a better angle. Stretch, drive through. Stretch, drive through. And when we were done with that, oh, one knee's down, this other knee is straight back, and you're pulling down like this on either arm. Then we go to this one, which is all sorts of fun. Basically jumping jacks, but jumping pushes is what I call them. So we're here, we go, whee! And then we finished it with this one. Nice little twist and push for some more core. But we wrap that there. We drive through and around. Through and around. Drive over to get that stretch on that lat. Through and around. And that was it. That was 10 exercises. And we did that for three times around. Set your circuit however you want to set it. I did it on 50 and 10, so that was probably a little bit aggressive, but we've got another 10 minutes worth of exercising to do-ish. So I'm gonna get to that right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I figured I would share that with you before I'm completely out of breath and don't want to talk anymore. Enjoy. What's up? So, mom came home and dropped you guys off with me and was like, hey, go figure it out. Which is fine. I mean, come on. It's not that difficult to put you guys to sleep. It really isn't. Um, but it is now, later than I wanted it to be, and I have text messages that need to get done. So it's time to get those text messages done. Now, it is 9.47, which means it is 5.47 on the West Coast, which is exactly the time I need to be texting these people. I actually wish I could text them at five o'clock, but in my opinion, my opinion, it is a better idea to text people before they go to work or after they get out of work because guess what they're doing between that time? Working, which means they're not gonna talk to you, more or less. So that's been my strategy. So far, so good. We are a 10th of the way there. The goal would be nice to get to 100 clients within the next four months, which would be about $10,000 a month, give or take. Now, obviously there's gonna be ups and downs and inflows and outflows, but that would be the goal. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm out here grinding it. Doesn't mean I'm not trying. It just may not be doing it the right way. Um, I am burning money on Facebook ads though that are doing absolutely nothing. Absolutely jack all. Um, but it's only 10 bucks a day. So maybe I need to go higher with the number. We'll find out. But have a good night. I am done for the day. I am just gonna get these messages done. Go right to bed. If I already take a shower, so. Ooh, and I have to have dinner, which means hard boiled eggs, which are just done. Good night, love you, ciao.